Hey Brad, what's going on, sir? Gosh, how are you? Excellent, thank you. What's going on over here at the Motor Coach store? Well, I'm back in town for a few days, checking on the dealership and uh, uh, doing some uh, filming with you. You don't have too many coaches outside. You got a few coaches here in the showroom, but things are looking pretty light on your lot. What's the yeah. current situation in the RV market? Well, like we did in our initial video, you know, we do our walk uh, around the lot, uh, you know, every couple of weeks together and kind of see what's going on around the dealership. And as you can see, there's just not a lot of inventory. Uh, you know, in the showroom, we try to keep uh, the showroom as full as possible. Uh, but even in here, you know, we've got a, uh, King Air 2013 that's sold. We've got a couple newels that are available. Uh, this American Eagle is not going to last after the <laughs> video goes out. I mean, uh, that possibly will even go to auction and bring retail money. It's just nuts right now. The market is absolutely on fire. So, someone that wants to sell their coach, I hear it's a pretty good time to sell? Absolutely. You know, the, the, the times have never been better uh, in recent 15 years, 20 years even, to uh, sell your motor coach. Um, you know, we'd love to talk to anybody about uh, consigning their motor coach or outright uh, selling their motor coach to us. I mean, the, the coaches have gone up in value. When have we seen that? Yeah, true you know? story. I mean, it's, it's just it's unbelievable, unprecedented times uh, to see that units have gone up in value on a depreciating asset. Yeah, so if someone wants to consign their coach with you, how does that process work? And what can they expect to, to get a check for after the coach sells? Well, they get a check right away as soon as the coach funds. I mean, we pay immediately. Um, you know, no games at the motor coach store, complete transparency. Um, you know, there, there's a, a couple of ways we can go about selling your coach. Uh, we can buy it outright or we can consign it. Um, what I typically like to do is get all the information from the individual on their unit and give them a number of what we'll pay for it, what we'll buy it outright. Literally 90% of the time, maybe 95% of the time, we end up buying the coach instead of consigning it because we just pay top dollar at the motor coach store. You know, and my funds are quick. I always joke, you know, we can fund by dark. So, uh, you know, the money's there, uh, you know, the reputation is there. Uh, we're here to give you top dollar for your coach. The other direction you can go from there then once we've established here's what it's worth in real cash money is a consignment and you know the customers may be looking for more money out of their coach so what we do is establish a realistic number of what it should bring on consignment net to them and then they can decide between what cash out number is and consignment net should be it's still an unknown should be you know, do they want to roll the dice and gamble and consign it instead of cashing out now? Do you treat coaches that you buy outright differently than consignments or uh, how do you treat those? Uh, no, they get treated exactly the same way as long as the customer, uh, the consigner approves any work that needs to get done. So instead of me spending my money on the repairs, the reconditioning, the uh, consigner would be responsible for those to some degree um, you know major repairs you know it needs batteries something like that but the rest of the reconditioning the detailing the ads all that stuff that all gets absorbed into my costs as part of the consignment fee if you will now what is a fair consignment fee is there a percentage or what, what how do you work that you know here I you know every coach is unique and there's no set formula that I go by at the motor coach store um, to say, you know, this is how our consignment structure works. Every coach is different, every person is different, every situation is unique. So it's a conversation. You know, let's have a conversation about maximizing dollars on that consignment to get the customer, the consigner, as much money as possible. So, you know, we might establish, uh, you know, a dollar value to say, you know, your coach is gonna, where I'm gonna net you X, you know, and then I mark it up from there to make my consignment fee. Um, you know, the customers will be able to see total transparency. Here's what I'm saying I'll net you. They'll see what I'm advertising it for. I'm not gonna advertise it for a huge gap, you know, on their dollar and just ride, you know, their coattails and their dollars. I just don't believe in doing that. You know, if we're gonna have the coach here, let's get it sold for fair market value and move on down the road. What do you think is a reasonable amount of time that someone could expect 
from when their coach gets consigned until it sells? Well, you know, that's the old crystal ball. You know, who knows? Um, you know, there's there's coaches you and I have talked about that, you know, why isn't that 13 King Air sold as fast as it, 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 it should? Yeah. You know, but, you know, things, whatever, there's no magic formula. Uh, you know, the, the as far as a timeline, there's not a magic formula. There is a formula for selling them. We recondition them. We photograph them. We advertise. We have heavy advertising budget. Uh, I look around at the same place that all of our customers look around. You know, on RV Trader, RVT, eBay, Racing Junk, all these different avenues. The motor coach store presence, people look, are on all these different sites. Not everybody else does that. So we have heavy, heavy marketing that we do. And then, you know, I'm accessible. I answer my phone calls. I get back on my emails, my texts, get back to people right away. And we do deals. I'm hanging out here in the customer lounge at the Motor Coach store right now. And I just ran into Sylvia Ford. How are you doing today, ma'am? Fine, Andrew. Great to meet you. Likewise, likewise. So what are you doing here at the Motor Coach store? Well, I was a new RVer. I needed some instruction. They were phenomenal. I have got to tell you, this motor coach store is the best place I have ever seen. People are congenial. They even went out and filled up my tank with gas. I know probably a little bit more than I did before about motor homes. I have uh, a real estate background, so I deal with people all the time. And I'll tell you, these people are phenomenal. You wouldn't want to find any better place to do business. Awesome. Do you have any advice, uh, someone that's thinking about doing business with the Motor Coach store, any advice you have for the folks out there on YouTube? I would say definitely give them a call. Talk to Brad. He is incredible. He was just right on top of it. He said he called me back and guess what he actually did. So, you know, so many times you say, we'll call you back maybe if we have an opening. He was just right on top of it. So yeah, please. Give them a call, you won't be disappointed. Sylvia, I can't thank you enough for taking the time to share that with me and the folks on YouTube. I greatly appreciate you. Thank you for the opportunity. Do you think there's an unreasonable amount of time for a consignment uh, oh, yeah. where if the coach won't sell in a certain amount of time, you oh. probably don't want to keep it on your lot? Uh, well, it, I, I'd want to keep it on my lot, but that goes back to setting original expectations realistic expectations if we can uh, people don't always want to hear real world but i stick to that you know i'll tell people you may not like what i'm saying but you can take to the bank as fact or the truth so uh, i'm not uh, gonna just tell you some exorbitant number to get it in to try to break it back you know once we sell the coach there's different tactics that can be used out there to get you to commit to get somebody to have your unit in their possession and then they're, you're losing a lot of control. So why not know up front, transparency, and know exactly where you're at? If a coach is on my lot too long, there's something wrong, and it's typically price. You know, condition, I'm not gonna take anything that's in, whether it's something I purchase, take on trade, or have on consignment, it isn't anything less than beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> okay. true story. So, you know, I'm not dealing in the smoker coaches, um, you know, pet damage or odors, um, you know, nothing like that. You know, uh, we don't deal in exterior damage on coaches. We deal in top rate inventory. So it's gonna come back to price more than likely. What's the longest a coach has ever sat on your lot? Not long. <laughs> so. Have you ever had no. a coach have a birthday on your lot? No, no, never, never mm -hmm. once. No. Six months? No, no, there's just, there's no need for that. Anybody that's in the car industry knows it's all about the turn. So, you know, why be greedy, you know, and say, you know, I need to have this much out of this coach. You need to adapt to the market because you can, the truth of it is you can take less for that coach, turn that money two, three times, you're gonna make a lot more money. So why why stand staunch on a on a price that you can't get? So adapt. Absolutely. You only deal in Class A motor coaches yeah. here, or are there other types of vehicles that you would consign? Well, I'll, I'll take in, uh, you know, one of the Renegade type, you know, the truck units. You know, those are good sellers. Super C's. Super C's. I've had, a, you know, less than a handful of those in my career, but I do understand they're great, great products. So, yeah, I'm open to those. But uh, from, other, you know, on a purchase or consignment, we're in Class A diesel pushers. Uh, you know, look at our website. You can see we deal in late model Newells and Prevos pre-owned. 
and then late model high-end fiberglass diesel pushers. Yeah, I noticed on your website you do have a section where someone can put in the information of their coach just to get a number on that. From when they enter all of their information, what is the turnaround time before they can get a cash offer on their coach? Oh man, it's right away. I mean, all those emails come directly to me. What I'd like you to do is put a link you know, underneath the video uh, that goes right to that page where they can fill out that information. It comes to me, we have some dialogue, whether it's text, email, or phone. Um, I get some photos, get the particulars. You know, typically I can give it back within minutes, you know, that day, let's say. Sometimes it's a little bit more involved, uh, you know, on some of these Prevos and Newells, it's, there's some more nuances to the floor plan, the colors, tires, batteries, etc. So once we get all the facts in line and I look around to do some comps, we'll have a conversation, I'll give you a number. Awesome. Yeah, I'll definitely make sure that link to the motor coach store is in the description below. Yeah, you want to show us uh, if someone does consign their coach here, you want to show them um, the process that yeah, their coach is going to go through? Let's take a walk. Sounds good. Got them lined up heavy out here. What's going on here, sir? Well, we're moving things around the dealership, but uh, I wanted to bring you out here and show you, you know, what a consignment will go through. Uh, do a quick walkthrough so you can see what's going to happen at the motor coach store if you do end up consigning your coach here. It's going to come in. First area it's going to hit is here, and it's going to get a full check-in. If you go to our website, look at any of our motor coaches on there. What we've added in is a little gold button that says check-in sheet. And you can click on that. We're gonna post all that information right on the website. So you can see day codes on tires, batteries, hours on the generator, miles, serial numbers, you know, all the options are checked off. So, uh, you know, more than I see anybody else put online. So a lot of information. Yeah, and that information will definitely tell a story about the coaches. It does. Yeah, and it, what it does is gives us a, a, a start to say, okay, what does this coach need? You know, day codes, tires, and batteries. You know, we have to we have to know where we stand so we can talk to people educatedly when they call. So that's the foundation of where we start with. Yeah. What's the next step? It'll come into our service department next. Uh, there's various stages of uh, coaches in here. Uh, they come through and they get their uh, their initial walkthrough. Uh, we just make sure that uh, we have shades working, lights, etc., everything, so that we can photograph the coach. Uh, then, after a short stay in service, it heads over to reconditioning. Let's check it out. There's our buddy Josh. How you doing today, buddy? Yeah, sir. <laughs> Next stop is reconditioning. So your consignment, you decide to sign at the motor coach store, it comes here to this bay. It gets a thorough wash. You know, Andrew, you're an old detailed dog, and you know it all starts with the wash. Uh, we get down and dirty on it. We just go through every compartment, go through the entire coach, and get it washed. Then we roll inside here. It's our reconditioning department. So from here, we really start going to town on your consignment. We're going to... Uh, uh, detail the whole coach so we're gonna do paint correction if needed you know we're gonna we're gonna buff the coach we're gonna wax the coach we're gonna go through all the bays we're gonna recondition the motors uh, the mud flaps we go through the mud flaps you've seen some of the stuff we've done here I mean we go to the nth degree to make sure these coaches are top-notch uh, before they go to photo next stage is they go to photo uh, go to the photo lot where you do a lot of your shooting with the coaches and uh, from there comes back over into service service department in here Andrew we're gonna go through a complete checklist inside now and top to bottom on every coach we're gonna make sure that everything's working on a coach so that it's ready to go to the showroom and as you guys can see in this video there's a lot of open spots for coaches your coach could be in one of these bays out here come on in 
next stop is uh, the showroom. So we call it showroom ready. As soon as a coach is showroom ready, it's gone through all the stages, your consignment coach comes in here. So as you can see, Andrew, we've got a, a lounge here at the Motor Coach store. So when customers are coming to view, uh, we make comfortable surroundings for them. We have workstations over here. We have a refreshment station, anything they need. Uh, to make themselves comfortable, so oh. we uh, create a oh, good environment. <laughs> it's like cribs. You're Ooh, showing the little food. MTV cribs. <laughs> Brad's refrigerator here at the Motor Coach store is definitely cribs worthy here. <laughs> you know, I had to show that. <laughs> it's all in the details. So, yes, sir. You know, everything's got its place, and it should be in its place. So, uh, this is the environment that your consignment would live in in the showroom all climate controlled uh, for the Florida elements it's raining today so um, you know that helps to show a coach uh, you're not traipsing around outside in some lot you're in a great environment uh, that's soothing and people come in here and they can see what a coach is all about so the coaches show up in here and then they get sold what's the next step next step is delivery follow me back in the service department. So after a coach has gone through all these steps, we bring it back into the service department and we do a final pre-delivery inspection. You know, these things are motor coaches. Things happen, they break sitting still. So we go through another quality control check here before they get staged out for delivery. Where do they get staged for delivery? Follow me. Now we go to delivery. Uh, we set up our deliveries out here in front of the dealership. You can see we've got a couple going on right now and uh, we've got water and electric hookups here. We have a dump station in back and your consignment would get delivered here. Uh, we tell customers that are purchasing a coach, they can stay here as long as they want. They can go through the whole coach, make sure everything works. Uh, something we don't have is uh, salespeople. We have service technicians. My whole operation is based around customer satisfaction and service. So uh, we have a, a technician that's been assigned to a coach the whole way through the process, they own that coach. They are the ones delivering that coach to that customer uh, when they come to take delivery. Uh, this is Daryl. He's taking delivery of the 2013 King Air as we speak. How has your experience been at the Motor Coach store? Real good. Uh, I got a hold of Brad about two weeks ago and uh, he returned my co phone call right back and answered all my questions. And uh, we put a deal together and I uh, got here uh, Monday morning and his people uh, was still kind of going over it and doing their final inspection. They found a few things and they took care of it right away and uh, can't ask for a better uh, experience with the motor coach company. What made you choose this King Air? Uh, I've been doing some research and stuff and we had a Super C on a Peterbilt chassis that I really liked, but we blew a front tire and it got totaled out last winter coming home. And I decided I wanted to go with a Class A pusher and, and I, I pull a big trailer too, so I wanted something with a big motor and the King Air's got a big motor, bigger transmission and we nice. just like the way that everybody telling me the King Air's one of the top of the line. Yes sir, top of the food chain here. And then what made you choose the Motor Coach store over other dealerships? Well, uh, there's not a whole lot of them around. We've seen your video on YouTube. Awesome. On one. <laughs> and uh, we, I was just searching and um, I've looked at a couple other ones and this is a, a whole lot nicer and been you know gone through than anything else I've seen and the way Brad treated me and uh, I used to own a dealership uh, Peterbilt dealership and uh, he treats people like we used to treat people and I like that any advice you have for anyone that might be uh, thinking about purchasing a coach from the team here at the motor coach store uh, get a hold of them and see if they got what you're looking for or tell them what you want and see if Brad can find it for you Awesome. Well, can't thank you enough. Huge congratulations on this beautiful King Air. You really did well with this one. Thank you. Thank you. And they're a half a yard yep. here. They're on down the road, and that's how your consignment is handled. Awesome. If someone wants to bring their coach to you, what's the next step in the process? Uh, give me a call. Give me a text. Give me an email. You can find all my information right on our website, themotorcoachstore.com. Give me a call. Awesome. Brad, I can't thank you enough. 
definitely really cool to see people's dreams coming true like you say in your <laughs> like your slogan so can't thank you enough for the opportunity to share with the folks on youtube what's going on here can't thank all of you enough for subscribing to the channel and liking these videos i hope you're all having a great day thanks again see you soon